Hi, today we're going to discuss how to deploy a smart contract on Zilliqa and we're going to use a JavaScript as a language and we're going to call Zilla their domain specific language with the smart contracts through the JavaScript and we're going to use JavaScript and Node.js for this one and then there are some prerequisites you need before we dive into the session. You need to have a Node.js installed in your computer and you get an NPM together with that and then you have a you have to create a testnet wallet for that as well if you don't have a testnet created yet we have a video for that inside our channel so just have a look on that i put a link down below in the description and create your testnet wallet and come back in here and watch the demonstration for the smart contract open the cmd the command prompt we're going to navigate to the drive where our code base is. I have created a few files which I am going to use for this demonstration. This is a config.json file and there is a package of JSON file which contains the packages required for this demonstration. And we have a de deploy.js that is actually we are going to call through a command prompt through an node.js and then it will deploy the your smart contract on Zilliqa's platform. For the first place, we're going to open this one in the Visual Studio Code for the clarity. And then we can see the file base and the structure. Cool. So these are the three files that you will need. Let's go to config.json file. You need to have a contract owner's pri private key to authenticate yourself, your identity against the Silicas platform so prior to this one you need to create a testnet wallet so as i mentioned in the beginning if you don't have a testnet wallet yet created so feel free to watch our video and then create a wallet and come back in here then we have some of the variables defined there like a chain id message version as well cool let's go back to the package to json file you just need two two packages for this one just the zilliqa's platform sdk javascript sdk and you, you need to have a typescript library as well and not only these two packages you want to install prior to deploy the smart contract let's go to the command prompt and start by typing npm npm install and it's going to install this it, this might take some time to install the packages required to the demonstration cool everything seems fine and you get a node modules for it inside your inside your application let's go back to the visual studio code again let's navigate to the deploy.json file js file to understand the steps you're going to provide for to deploy the smart contract in here I have used uh, immediately invoked function expression to define my function so it's asynchronous function because the, the function that you're gonna, gonna call inside the Silicas platform is asynchronously implemented and it's usually a wait keyword for that so because of that you need to have async keyword defined for your function as well so it's, it's async await combination always and this function is the IIFV and then it's immediately invoked without uh, without use to call this function again in different places self involved okay so let's go back to the top we have a few uh, things you need to import from the beginning like silica platform uh, related libraries as well as a config file which we save our configuration information and here i'm assigning private key read from the config file so that the private key is going to add to the Zilliqa's platform with authentication perspective so it will authenticate your identity with the Zilliqa's platform and then let's go back to the function scroll down to the middle and you can see this part of the code this is where the Scylla library domain specific library for the smart contract actually gone action so in this Part of the code contains the information required to deploy your smart contracts. The smart contracts has two types of variables: mutable variables and immutable variables. The mu mutable variables can change, but immutable variables can't change throughout the lifespan of the 
smart contract so immutable variables we define with the parenthesis this is the owner of the smart contracts it's not gonna change anyhow through the lifespan so we're gonna do it we're gonna define it as a immutable variable with a type by string 20 and we have a mutable variable is gonna change at any point of time that is a type of string and we define it inside a contract as well likewise we can define any immutable and mutable variable based on the contract okay let's scroll down to the bottom is this part of the code is what takes the the initial parameters to create the contract and this part of the code is actually executing the contract to deploy that in on top of the cast platform so you can see the await keyword here because it happens from the background as an asynchronous operation uh, and then your result you will get after some time so we are displaying we are, we are logging some of the things after creating a contract onto the console and we can see if your contract is successfully deployed or not okay let's go back to the command prompt we're gonna, we're gonna type the command nod and deploy the chase and we actually deploy the smart contract on the platform you can see that just immediately log into the console and it might take some time to deploy after the transaction approving in the in the blockchain and now you can see the transaction is completed and the address is this is the contract address we can view this contract smart contract in the browser using uh, viewblock.io uh, tool so we have did a demonstration video for the viewblock.io and purpose of that and how to access the api of the viewblock in our channel so if you are interested in learning that just go ahead and click the link down below in the description and then watch that video to learn how the view block today your works let's go to the browser let's go to view block and choose zilica and you can see the, the options that they have given before we go to this one just it's better to click the test net and then it will load the information based on the test net let's go to the addresses can see a bunch of addresses created in the recent past Let's pick one of these addresses and then paste our address that we copied from the console in this place replace this one with yours and it will load up the information related to your contract you can see the four minutes ago you just created this contract and this is the hash value related to this transaction as a fee for the transaction and the contract creation information you can see in here as well so that's the end of today's video so we're going to post another series of exciting videos about how to create a df decentralized apps with the silica platform how to use a silica as a smart contract platform and how to use a sila language that the silica offers and how to learn that domain specific language to create a smart contracts on silica's platform so we're going to discuss these things in the future stay tuned with our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching this video cheers